Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be connecting with you today. Today is December 14, 2016, and in nine more days, we reach a very special day, at least in America, known as Christmas. And the day after that, unbeknownst to many folks, is also a special day in my world. So today, we'll be focusing on abundance in every aspect of life. And today is day three of five days of how we can identify the ways in which we keep ourselves from receiving the abundance that we so much deserve. And the last two days we focused on abundance for finances. And in this uh, focus, we released some blockages specific to blockages in the first soul house or first chakra and the fourth soul house, fourth chakra. And so today we're going to be working with abundance of health. Health for many people is a significant source of blockage. <clears throat> when we have an abundance of health, we can pretty much do whatever we'd like. Uh, abundance in health has a lot to do with our right mind, uh, uh, the proper emotions. How many people who have physical suffering, a, a form of pain or anything like that, they literally, it's very difficult for them to maintain a positive outlook and uh, to maintain any form of healthy, balanced, uh, loving communication. Uh, I, I know that even when I'm, you know, just sick a little bit uh, from a cold, you know, and I'm miserable and sinuses are running, I am not a happy camper. So my emotion changes, my mind changes, and this absolutely is a source of abundance, health is. And so when we have a lack of it, then that obviously creates a problem for us. And that's going to be our focus today as we move forward into the third day of the five days on what we do that separates ourselves from abundance. So I invite you, any of the new viewers <clears throat> that might be watching this uh, recording after the, the live stream itself, I invite you to uh, be present through the entirety of this and receive the guidance, the wisdom, and the blessings. As a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, I am honored and blessed to have received the opportunity to open up my spiritual channels. It took many years of practice. Uh, I've trained under different masters prior to meeting Master Sha, but when I met this master, I was able to release <coughs> a great deal of the energetic blockages, the karmic blockages that inhibit me from hearing heaven clearly, um, receiving messages in the third eye and other forms of direct communication. And I utilize these abilities that uh, Master Shah has brought to humanity to both educate you and to offer um, the opportunities to transform the kind of blockages that are what are referred to as soul level blockages. And so that, that's what we're going on today. So we'll take a moment and acknowledge all those that are tuning in for today. So uh, welcome Elizabeth Rojas, welcome Elizabeth Folk, and welcome Sherry. Thank you for some of the referrals, Sherry. I see some people sending me friend requests related to you. And welcome Karen, coming in from Australia, I believe. Welcome to Jansen, Tammy Hunter. Thank you for uh, joining us. Welcome Rushi, coming in from India. Welcome Chelsea. Uh, I believe I just saw one of your live streams I flipped on a little earlier today, and I liked your message, so thank you for sharing. Welcome, Tammy. Welcome, um, Carol Skakel. Uh, Skakel, excuse me. And Yvonne. Hopefully things are going better for you with your back, Yvonne. <coughs> Welcome, CJ. And Patricia. And Monica, great to see you as well. Angie. Very active on Facebook, posting lots of things, very family-oriented. Welcome, Eleanor and Dana Knapp. Thank you all for coming. Welcome, Ben and Tawana. So we've got a good start for the day, and uh, I'll probably be focusing um, on some of the aspects uh, from one of Master Shah's newer books, uh, which will assist us with releasing some of the blockages that uh, separate us from abundance. And I'll be touching on some of the uh, some of the newer techniques and methods for bringing healing to these areas. 
<clears throat> so first let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. As you know, we are coming upon the, the major part of the holiday season, uh, at least in the Americas. And um, so there's a big celebration as Christmas moves forward. And for some of us, that brings stress. It brings us stress for not having a loved one that we can be with during this time. Some of us, it reminds us of those quality times that we had with the family if the family is no longer with us. Some of us, the family is with us almost too much, and it drives us a little bit crazy from the over, uh, overabundance of the stress that can come around these holidays. So use this time as a healing opportunity for you to release some of those blockages. So welcome, Ilona. Welcome, Suki. Good morning. And welcome, Lori, as well. Snowing in Oregon. Great to know that, Lori. My wife uh, is from Thailand, and she has never experienced snow. And we were watching uh, <coughs> a brief uh, snippet of a football game, and the snowflakes were about one inch around. They were quite large. And I said, yeah, that's really snow. So one of these days I'll get her to a snowy area. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. <coughs> and we invite all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. We invite all beings serving the plan of the light side, all heaven, heaven's animals, guides, angels, and saints, including lamas and sifus and gurus, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, beloved Namo Amitofu, beloved Medicine Buddha, beloved uh, Lingue Shangshu, Da Shujurpusa. We invite beloved Happy Buddha. We invite Money Buddha. We invite beloved Master Jesus. We invite beloved Mother Mary. We invite all angels, healing angels and archangels. We invite Krishna. We invite Ganesha. We invite all beings of light. Lama, Sifus, Gurus, Kahunas. We ask our heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints to please join us at this time. And we sincerely apologize if in this or any lifetime we have brought harm or suffering to any souls, whether they're in the heavenly realms or here on the earthly planes. We will continue to purify and we ask for your guidance and blessings today as we work through the blockages that separate us from the abundance in our life and in today the abundance in our health. We ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony to please turn on in all of us and we invite all souls in all universes to join with us in turning on their source soul song of love, peace and harmony and as we chant together let us chant to serve others. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo I wash in her ling. Wo I trun ran lay. Wang ling rong her musher shang. Shang I ping on a she. Shang I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. <coughs> ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony to all the holy beings who have joined us here today. And so, welcome to Hailun, to Ali, and to Kristen. Thank you all for joining. And uh, thank you for those that have hit the share button to let other people know about this. Uh, for those that haven't, please take a moment and do so. <clears throat> so, as I've been uh, focusing on the subject matter this week, I looked around the internet for what was already out there on this subject of abundance. How it separates us, excuse me, how it um, uh, shows up as separatism in our life, how it creates stress in our life when we don't have it, and what we do to separate us from it. I wanted to see what others' uh, thoughts and perspectives around it were. <clears throat> and there are some, some very good logical uh, perspectives that it's important that we apply into our life that could bring more uh, abundance to us. Uh, one of the things that was suggested, for example, was Cleaning up your surroundings, your literally your physical surroundings, because it's a reflection of a clutter in your physical, emotional, spiritual body. Um, so that was an interesting one. I'm like, yeah, I can get that because sometimes I need to clean up and it makes me feel better. I just, I feel better. And I'm certainly not a clean nut, but I can significantly tell the difference when my place is cluttered and I feel that way. So that's an, one example. Then there's the meditative uh, aspect to it. What is meditation and why is it good for us and how is it related to abundance? Well, if we recognize that we are 99% soul, 1% human, uh, technically 100% soul, but we believe that this is everything, so we put the entirety of our focus into this experience. But in fact, we are 99% soul and 1% of this experience. And when we go into a meditative place, what in essence we're doing is we're allowing that which we are most of, the 99%, to infuse itself in us. We're allowing the messages, the wisdom, the guidance, the blessings from the soul world to enter our physical plane. So that was another uh, perspective that was out there that was related to abundance, and a very good one, I must uh, admit. Because most of us, if we look at our lives and we look at the imbalances that show up, um, in many cases, there's a correlation, a uh, history of it, and in many cases we'll find that um, there is negativity that precedes it, and it keeps us in that negative uh, revolving space. <clears throat> it creates emotional blockages, it creates mental blockages. Now today's focus is on abundance of health. Um, for at least half of those that are showing up today, there is already health issues happening in your life. And these health issues, they impact us. They can be quite challenging in many, many ways. They can challenge our emotions. How many of you, uh, showing of hands, have significant emotional uh, stresses when the health is off, right? So we know that that's a variable because when your emotions are out of balance, meaning we are rude or unpleasant to others, when we are uh, stay, uh, stuck, if you will, in a place of fear or anxiety or depression. Um, I have seen this with, with some of the more difficult health issues, your fibromyalgias, things of that nature, where it leads to depressions. Why? Very simply. 
people cannot do those things that they're used to doing. Therefore, it impacts the abundance of positivity. It impacts the financial abundance, of course, because money is spent trying to resolve the issue. It impacts um, abundance of positive mindset. So when we do not take care of our health, it can create a great deal of problems. Now, some of the things we're going to be talking about today have nothing to do with the wisdom and the teachings of my spiritual father, Dr. and Master Shah. There are things that I have learned <clears throat> as a student of uh, rebuilding the physical body, uh, making it healthy. And I, prior to any form of energy healing, I helped people through things like detoxification. And there's different, uh, different things that can assist us out there. So I'm just going to give a little overview synopsis on a general health-based consciousness that some of it might be, oh yeah, I already knew all that, and some of it might be, wow, I never really thought of it that way. And having done uh, purification and detoxification programs, uh, both myself and, and assisting others for over 10 years, I speak from a, a personal education and from a reading education. So what I'm sharing with you may or not be 100% accurate, um, but it's worthy of, of becoming a little more informed about. I'll give you a simple example. Um, just like 10 minutes before I started this live stream, I was tooling around my Facebook page and I came across a, um, a video on the falseness of chemotherapy. And it was, it was by a doctor. And he, he went into the, the, um, the way it's propagated, the pharmaceutical, you know, all that stuff about the, the industry. And um, so, but towards the end of his little five minute clip, he said one little sentence and I have no idea if it's true or not, but I'm going to go check it out. And what he said was, if every woman in, in the world took 200 micrograms, MCG, of selenium, in one generation, breast cancer would be completely gone. And I thought that was an interesting statement. And, and, but in my many, many years of studying, I have found that there is a great deal of wisdom and education that can assist our health. Now we have two things that come together that impact our health and our abundance and health. One is the karma, which as you know is the subject of, of almost every live stream that I teach. And the other is the real world application. We're really in this world and we're really going through whatever suffering we're going through and it's as real as, 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 you, as it gets. We wake up in it, we go to sleep in it. So it's real. But it is the soul world that brought about all the good things and all the unpleasant things. And it's not the soul world's fault, but the soul carries our, our spiritual debt and our spiritual virtue. So we have to address it from both directions. So that's why I'm spending a little bit of time on physical world things so that you know it's not always about just clearing the karma. You can, for example, receive a karma clearing blessing, a Shen Qi Jing blessing, a crown chakra blessing, a healing and transmission blessing from a divine channel like myself, from Master Shaw, from any of them. Um, and it will absolutely make a significant difference at the level of soul. The physical body, the mind and body will transform to match the purification that happened at the level of soul. But if you continue down the um, physical world path that brought you there, then the, the healing will be slower. So to go back to the physical world health. The human body is very much uh, like a vehicle. You jump in your car, you start the engine, you drive. If you did that every day and you drove three or four hours a day, let's say eight hours a day, because you drive your body at least eight hours a day. If you jumped in your uh, car and drove eight hours a day, every day, 365 days for one year, another 365 days, two years, and you repeated this for 60 years, you think your car might die somewhere between here and there? If you never ever change the oil, if you never ever change the electrical parts to it, called the spark plugs, if you never filled up the gasoline, your car would definitely die. Okay? And it would have a far less life. The cars that last the longest are the ones that are taken care of. The human body is as simple as a vehicle. We have organs, we have systems, and we have uh, an energy producing structure and what feeds us at least in the near term is what is termed as food fruits vegetables whatever it might be and when we ingest it it goes through our intestinal tract 
<clears throat> the first part starts with chewing on it. The saliva uh, creates enzymes which helps breaks it down. It goes into the stomach. The stomach creates different acids. And uh, if we mix our foods, then it confuses the stomach, which puts out different kinds of acids. It needs a certain acid for proteins. It needs a certain acid for sugar. It needs a different acid for your dairies. It needs a different acid for your grains. And because it needs different acids for these, or different pH balances, when you mix your foods, uh, it creates a soup that is not fully broken down. That then goes into your intestines, and your intestines is where everything uh, gets distributed as eventually to the form of energy. So when it goes into your intestines, it further breaks things down. The purpose of breaking these different food items down is to create the vitamins, the minerals, and nutrients, and everything that you need from the so-called food that we're putting in our body. And so when we uh, bring it into our body and it goes into the intestinal area, over the course of time, our intestines have, um, have been taxed with uh, toxicity and uh, healthy intestines look very much like bright pink flesh. It's just almost like a baby skin, very, very fresh and perfect. Unhealthy intestines grow a layer on it called mucoid plaque. And what happens is this mucoid plaque is a protectionistic plaque that is created over time when too many unpleasant chemicals come in the body when heavy metals through the mercury in our teeth and various other sources of bad water, whatever it might be, comes into our body. When we eat uncooked foods and they carry with them parasites. When we contract viruses and bacteria. These are all organisms that live, just like you and I. And they love having warm, damp environments. And all they really need is vitamins and nutrients, just like you and I. But when they enter our body, they find a home in our intestines. And so... When the food comes in and it gets broken down and it doesn't get fully broken down enough, guess who goes to, to town on these? So these undigested foods get, um, get connected with uh, the, the, the viruses, the germs, the uh, parasites, and they allow them to continue to work, allow them to continue to stay in your body. Whatever is broken down at that point gets extracted in and sent throughout the body through the blood. The blood comes around the intestines right around food time and, and literally uh, the nutrients are pushed through the intestinal walls, brought into the bloodstream and it's shipped around the body. How many of you get tired after you eat? Go ahead, nod your head. Okay. Those who get tired after they eat, one of the reasons why is because your body using a tremendous amount of energy to break down the food. And once it gets distributed through the body, the toxicity goes back into the bloodstream. How does the toxicity get into the bloodstream? Because what's being extracted through the intestines is bypassing the bacteria, bypassing the virus. It's dragging into the bloodstreams more heavy metals. It's dragging into the bloodstreams parasite. It's dragging into the bloodstream all of the unpleasant things that have been entering our body for the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years. How many of you have gotten an oil change for your body? Okay, I'm not talking about taking a few herbs and cleaning out your liver. This is not what I'm talking about. The point is, our body is built to be an energy generation machine. It's built to last at least 150 years. And the reason it's been going into a health imbalance is because of the, uh, the entirety of the world, the uh, quality of the food, the, the lack of vitamins and minerals that the human body needs, the lack of purification that we must have to clean these out of our body, and it's coagulated over time. There's so much more that can be said, but in a nutshell, <clears throat> if we don't take the time to clean out the main part of our engine, give it an oil change, really flush it well, then we're going to continue to have these blockages of this nature. So you have the karmic aspects, you have the physical world aspects. And when we do not have um, health, when we um, find ourselves feeling lethargic, not wanting to get up, low energy, when we find ourselves having pain in all the joints, this is not the label arthritis from my perspective. Um, the label cancer, the label arthritis, the label whatever the label is, it's a label 
that says, we're going to call it this because we really don't know what brought it here. Uh, and we certainly don't have a solution, but we do have a label for it. And that's what the current industry does with things. But if we recognize that there are quite a few, a lot, of human beings in certain parts of the world that are in very healthy condition at the age of 100 and none of these labels come to them. If you look at the history of why, it breaks down to the amount of toxicity that's entered their body. And when we live in the major cities and places of that nature, we are, uh, we're, we're going to be in that kind of condition. So we, as a human being, have to be a lot more vigilant if we're going to have an abundance of health in our life. We have to take responsibility in essence. We have to make higher, better, and wiser choices based on an educational model. So you can go and clear the spiritual debt that's causing the um, constant stomach issues. You can go and clear the spiritual debt that might be causing the migraine. You can go and clear the spiritual debt that might be causing the heart attacks. But if you don't take care of your physical vessel, through common sense education and common sense practices, you're not going to have a very healthy and abundant life. When you take care of your health, the, the emotions are dramatically uh, better. You're not gonna be an unpleasant person. Anybody see those liquor commercials where you have the uh, Marilyn Monroe is, is a different actor in there. He's, uh, I forget his name. Um, He's in a white dress, and he's complaining, complaining, and give her a Snickers bar, and all of a sudden, he's back to normal. Now, <laughs> probably not the best example of health, eating a Snickers bar, but the point is, we get grumpy like that, too, emotionally. It impacts our abundance. It impacts our abundance of love. It impacts our abundance in every aspect of life. And so, take time to become more familiar with how you can purify your body. Uh, if you want to write this down, you can. Again, do your own homework. I am not a, um, I am not a health guru where I have MD after my name. Okay, I don't have these things, but I have done a tremendous amount of homework because I've never been a big fan of the pharmaceutical system. I use breathers if I need it. I am very grateful for some of the medicines that are out there. I think they serve a huge and very important purpose. I just don't believe that they are the solution for long-term health. And this is why we have to take our own, um, our own responsibility around these things. So for those that are interested in a true full body purification, where this plaque that builds up on the intestine gets pulled off, where the parasite activity that every human, to the best of my reading and understanding ability, does have parasites. And it, and it removes those from your body. And there's different ways to, to kill off the bacteria and the viruses. These things are available. They are natural and they are available. Uh, you can start with a company called Blessed Herbs. I'm not promoting them. I have just done research and in my experience I found them to be a very good company. They do a one month kit that pretty much covers all the bases and if you do it as it's suggested you could feel a lot better at the end. The abundance of your health could be substantially increased. A great deal of the imbalances related to mental imbalances which are health related imbalances have been discovered to be imbalances in vitamin and mineral nutrition. What happens is the uptake, uh, the absorption of specific vitamins and minerals and very, very small neuropeptides are unable to be received at the brain level, at the, at the receptor level. And one of the reasons why is because of the chemicals, is because of the heavy metals, because of the parasites, because of the virus, because of the bacterial environment. These collude collectively to sap our energy and take us away from the health that we need. And so become an informed person in all these different ways. Probably half of you are well informed. And so congratulations on that if you are. Abundance in health is a, a choice. I went to the doctor yesterday, um, something you have to set up like three months in advance. Uh, to get a refill on uh, the breather. And um, when I got up on the scale, I weighed four pounds more than the last time I was there, which was about a year ago. I was like, wow, 
no wonder uh, I, I, I'm feeling a little heavy. And so I said, okay, well, that means I need to do a bit more exercise. And so responsibility. Now, I don't feel necessarily um, bad at a level of health, but it has impacted my mind and it has impacted my emotions. I am not in abundance in uh, full alignment that can help me feel good about myself. And so when we start looking at these and we start taking responsibility, we can make a significant difference. I was talking with one of the students last week and her diet this is excellent, excellent diet. Um, she listed what she does, how little she eats, and da 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 da. Uh, and yet, um, by modern terms, they might consider her overweight. And so, um, she asked me to do a reading, and when I checked, the message I got was it had to do with um, protection mechanisms, wherein um, there was a fear of getting hurt, getting the heart hurt. And so, by becoming a bigger person, uh, there was a belief that it would make them less desirable and therefore they couldn't get their heart hurt by nobody being attracted to them kind of a thing. And of course it's all subtle, but these are the kinds of things that keep us from having abundance of a healthy, loving relationship. So we don't take care of our physical health. We, um, we might be choosing the right things, but then there's a mental aspect going on. There's an emotional aspect. There's a, a fear of... Um, being taken advantage of. So there's a lot of tie-in when it comes to having different abundance in our life. So if we're not taking care of the, the health abundance, it's going to impact our emotions. If we're not taking care of the emotional aspect, it absolutely impacts our mind. Uh, if our mind is off, let's say that um, everything else in your life is fine, but you're, there's a chronic depression going on. No one seems to be able to figure it out. Um, there could very well be simply a spiritual root. I have done blessings to clear the uh, condition of depression, which is directly related to the heart chakra. Um, people have had significant results when all of the drugs had no impact necessarily. So sometimes people are doing what they're doing at the physical level and it's not working. They might be on an excellent diet. They might be doing everything that they can, but it's not working. Then you have the other root, which is a spiritual root. You see how it's connected? So you can do the, the, the spiritual cleansing and the spiritual healing, but you've got to take care of the other. You can do the other, but if it's not working, you've got to take care of the spiritual part because that's always the predecessor. That's what leads to everything else. But if you're not doing both of them together, you're not going to have the end results that you want. If to create the abundance that you're really looking for in your life. So um, today I wanted to work with some of the different ways that we can have a better control over the emotions and the mind <clears throat> and at the same time clear some of the spiritual blockages because they are related to our health. Um, why haven't I in this last year exercised more? Emotion and mind blockages, okay? Karmic blockages, definitely. If I didn't have the karmic blockages, I would be out exercising more. I wouldn't have this extra four or five pounds. So we all have our own version of that. And so when we look at abundance, we want to take a look at some of the sources. So Master Shah's newest book is called Soul Over Matter. Now, uh, he co-wrote this. Uh, with a gentleman at the back. His name is Adam Markell. And Adam Markell is a financial guru. He teaches mind over matter techniques. He teaches positive thinking techniques. He teaches um, uh, about love and about alignment and about manifestation and about um, believing and many other very well-known uh, and effective methods that could bring about financial abundance. For that reason only, you should do some more education on, on Adam Markel uh, because of his very strong background in supporting people to become financially wealthy. He came uh, from the field of being a lawyer, where there's a lot of cutthroat and a lack of love and a lack of compassion. And he said, I'm done with this. I'm going to move to a structure that is supportive and loving and compassionate. And he created uh, 100,000 students worldwide to support them financially. Again, it's called Soul Over Matter. And, and uh, Master Shah co-authored this with Adam Markell. And in here, 
they combine their different wisdoms. Adam Markel's wisdoms that he's learned, and Master Shah's wisdoms that he hears from the divine and brings to humanity. And he speaks of the ten Da's. Uh, da stands for greatest, the ten greatest. And these are virtues. These are mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ways of bringing yourself to life. These are behaviors that when we put focus and intention upon them, they will absolutely impact our abundance in every different area of our life. Think about it. <clears throat> if you focused on greatest humility, okay, and you just removed the ego, you would be rewarded. You would have a far better mind. The emotions would be very gentle and relaxed, not stressed because you're focused on humility. Um, your health would respond to the emotion in the mind. Uh, your soul journey would be dramatically impacted because heaven loves uh, humility. The, the meek shall inherit the earth, so to speak. Uh, what does that mean? That means those that have no ego, those that are pure of heart, will inherit the earth. That's just a statement, but it reflects what aligns to heaven. <clears throat> when we focus on one of the other greats, greatest enlightenment, greatest virtue, greatest service, no, virtue is not one of them, greatest service, greatest forgiveness, greatest um, gratitude. Let's focus on greatest gratitude for a moment. The ten das are a mind and an emotion. These are um, virtues that we apply, initiate it with our mind, and we act it out with our emotion. It impacts our physical health. It clears our spiritual blockages. It impacts the physical, the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual all at once. And all four of those collectively create abundance or a lack of abundance. If we have a block in any one of them, it creates a lack of abundance. But when we work on one thing, just one thing, that can impact all of those positively, now you're cooking on all, on all uh, flames. So that's what these two uh, beautiful souls have brought to humanity. Now in here, Dr. and Master Shah has brought <clears throat> what's called Ibiza calligraphy. This particular calligraphy is Da'ai, D-A-A-I, which stands for greatest love. Oneness calligraphy is something that Master Shah has brought to humanity to uh, serve them. It is a medium through which heaven's oneness can impact our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual worlds. And uh, for those that are not familiar with, with Master Shah's abilities, he can transmit power and healing into these calligraphies. And all one needs to do is connect with them and healing can occur relatively fast. Transformation can occur relatively fast. So we're going to do some practices with this now to assist us with transforming the blockages using Da'ai, Greatest Love, calligraphy. Now he does cover the ten Da's in here uh, and in, uh, actually spends a couple pages on each. He will be creating books in the future, an entire book dedicated to each of the great virtues. And of course there will be uh, calligraphy and practices in those when they come. But I encourage you, if you don't have this book already, to please go out and get it. Um, it will change your life. Um, so the ten virtues for those that are unfamiliar in order are Da I, greatest love. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Da Tzu Bei, greatest compassion. Da Guang Ming, greatest light. Da Chen Bei, which is greatest... Uh, Humility. Da He She, greatest harmony. Da Chang Sheng, which is greatest flourishing, flourishing, like we're talking about today. Uh, da Gan Un, Da Gan Un, greatest gratitude. Da Fu Wu, greatest service. And Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Isn't that incredible? Focusing on enlightenment, gratitude, service, uh, love, forgiveness, compassion, and light, humility, okay, harmony. All of these virtues, when we focus on them, just keep that as the cornerstone of our thoughts, our words, and our actions. 
Our physical body heals. Our mental body balances out. Our emotional body balances out. Our spiritual uh, connectivity clears itself, naturally clears itself by focusing on these virtues because of self-clearing the karma. So it's truly an amazing uh, wisdom that has been brought to humanity through uh, Master Shah and in application with financial abundance teachings that Adam Markel has brought to us. When you apply the virtue to the wisdom teachings that this other uh, soul has brought, the combination brings you all the abundance that you have been wanting in your life. We just have to apply it. <laughs> That's one of the kickers, okay? So let's do this together. Wherever you're at, sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. We place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is a body power position, a mudra that assists with heaven connecting to our heart center. Close your eyes. Repeat after me. Dear divine, dear the Tao, dear the source creator. My name is, state your name, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I am very honored, very grateful for all the lessons and experiences that I have had in this life. I ask for forgiveness, for complaining, for not seeing that I need to take responsibility for all of the great things in my life and all of the not so good things in my life. I ask that with this blessing today that you bless me to realign my abundance thinking. Please bless me to operate with all of my thoughts and words and actions to be in alignment with the Tenda teachings. That I can release the spiritual blockages, align my mind and emotions, and heal physically. I ask for forgiveness for this in all lifetimes. If I or my ancestors have harmed any souls at any time, in any way, please forgive me. And I forgive all souls for harming me in any way. Let us move forward by utilizing the ten das to serve each other, serve humanity, and become one once again. So with your eyes closed, I want you to visualize in your heart center the greatest love. Invite God into your heart center. If you have a connection to Jesus, Mother Mary, loved Buddha, Kuan Yin, ask them to come sit in your heart center. And as we chant, as I chant on your behalf, as I trace this special calligraphy, this special book that has had a special blessing in it, okay, this is not a small blessing in this book, as I trace this on your behalf, have a conversation with God or with Jesus or whoever you've invited in and ask them for guidance. And you can do this quietly in your own mind because I'll be doing the rest on your behalf. Make it a little meditation for yourself, okay? Blessing begin. Da 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 Oh, 
Allow and attract abundance. Allow and attract abundance. Bless our physical health. Release mind blockages. Bless our physical health. Release emotional blockages. Die. 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 <coughs> Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. to my soul's guidance. Bless my physical body. Bless my emotional body. Bless my mental body. Bless my spiritual body. Open my heart and soul. Open my heart and soul. Please bring healing to me. Release great abundance. 
closed offer your deepest gratitude thank you divine thank you creator thank you to the heavens animals and heavens saints all of the holy beings that came at this time to bless you to bless your abundance in every aspect of life thank you for aligning and realigning my thoughts words and actions my mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs to recognize abundance. Thank you for blessing me to appreciate all that I have. Very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so when you're ready, open your eyes and share any of the messages that you might have heard during this uh, meditative healing. Uh, it's quite a bit of blessing coming to each of you. This, uh, this special book, the Soul Over Matter book, not only is it full of, of wisdom to move from where we're at with our financial blockages to where we would like to be, um, it has significant soul power in it. The soul power that's in it is designed to remove our abundance blockages. Do you get it? Abundance is not limited to finances. It's health blockages, it's mind blockages, it's emotional blockages. So I'll keep chatting while I'm waiting for your guys' responses to the experiences that you might have had, any insights that you might have received from uh, this practice. <clears throat> and soul power, as Master Shah has brought to humanity, is the highest power. It is much higher than mind power. It is much higher than any other uh, power that we have at our disposal. <clears throat> and so when we align ourselves to our highest self, and when we invite God and Dal and Source and all the holy beings, and when we use the power that's been transmitted to a book like this, and the special, very special calligraphies in here, I tell you, if your third eye is open, you'll see treasures, you'll see heaven's animals, saints, you'll see temple souls, you'll see... <laughs> Amazing. If you don't have third eye, take it to somebody who does. Watch them uh, be in shock. <clears throat> the power is available to us. We just have to do the practice 
and we connect with the calligraphy. What was I doing for you on your behalf? I connected with the souls of the blessings in that calligraphy in this book, and I did what's called tracing on your behalf. And all the holy beings came out and they came to you. So I'm going to do a, a very brief soul reading for you so that you know exactly what happened. <coughs> How? This is the soul of Master Shah. You are all very blessed to have received this blessing today. Master Paul is one of my divine channels. He carries the power and frequency through this book in a much wider way than could normally be distributed because of the nature of his responsibilities. And as such, the blessings that you received were significant. For two people on the line, their lives were saved. One would have had, could have had, a significant heart-related issue within the next three weeks. Another would actually have been hurt in an automobile accident chasing after a child. Uh, lost their life. <clears throat> Both of these were averted today by the blessings that were received. This is not a small thing when you look at the nature of humanity today and the blockages that are so significant. There is an extraordinary amount of attention seeking that is occurring by every entity on the planet to grab your attention and to take you away from your soul journey. I brought these ten Da's to humanity, to you, to assist you with maintaining frequency and alignment, not necessarily for financial abundance or abundance in any manner, but more for the healing of your soul journey. The natural side effect is abundance in every aspect of your life. But as was said, you must do the practices. Buy my book. I don't ask you. I tell you because I know it will serve your soul journey. I am your unconditional servant. Call on my soul and I will be there to serve you. This is the soul of Master Shah. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Shah. <coughs> okay. Such a strong soul. <laughs> He's like, ah, buy my book. Okay, Master Shaw, I'll say the words. Uh, Joanne, uh, I'm just feeling very relaxed. Her ears are ringing like crazy. Yeah, mine are a little bit uh, ringing right now too. I find that happens, especially when I'm um, uh, clearing frequency blockages. So Angie says, uh, Eleanor says, very relaxed and peaceful. Angie says, need to come back as couldn't focus as much as needed with little guys around. I understand that. Kristen, she was asking for a blessing of Da'ai for her mother's friend, Tim who's experiencing a lot of pain and his problems there in the, in the facility where she is right now. That's very thoughtful of you, uh, Kristen, to ask for somebody else. And Raul, thank you, Master Paul, very grateful, peaceful. And um, Kristen says, I not, I was that kind of interest in wordplay. Monica, greatest gratitude to your Master Paul for opening her eyes to share. My heart is in deep peace and gratitude. Thank you, Master Paul. Vibrating. And Tammy asks, what's the book called? Tammy, it's called Soul Over Matter. I know it's in backwards right now. Called Soul Over Matter. Most of us know Mind Over Matter. This one's called Soul Over Matter. And the authors are Dr. and Master Shah and Adam Markell. M-A-R-K-E-L. Okay. So hopefully, um, and by the way, those who are interested in the detoxification uh, one-month protocol, it's called Blessed Herbs. Just like it sounds, Blessed Herbs. And if you go to Google and type that in, you'll see the different uh, kits that they have. I would recommend the one-month kit. And, um, uh, yeah, I, I can't, you know, go into too much detail about it because I don't want to be promoting these other companies. But I can tell you it made a significant difference in my overall health and well-being and for many of the clients that I worked with. So it might be a good thing for your physical health as well because, in my experience, it allows the good things that we are putting in our body to have a far more significant effect. If you are like the other student that I was working with that, um, that has uh, blockages that are related to 
to uh, protection, in this case protecting the heart, then that's something you want to work with at the level of spirituality, at the level of da'ai, greatest love, at the level of self-love and forgiveness. So that's why abundance is connected in so many ways. <clears throat> so I'm very, very grateful that all of you have joined me today. I hope that today's wisdom uh, brought some new insights to you. And if so, please share. And then I will see you tomorrow as we go into additional layers of abundance with additional aspects in our life. Okay? So we'll see you then. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Respectfully return to all the holy beings that came. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody.